Look at him. Look at Gordon. Oh, God, that is creepy, mate. Stay away from young animals, dude. That is, that's not good. Gordon Ramsay is 55, and he still acts like a big baby. So let's have a little look-see. Gordon Ramsay's caused some controversy. It's weird that this is controversial, actually. Meat eaters are incredibly hy hypocritical. If you're a meat eater watching, don't switch off just yet. Let me explain why after we look at what everyone's so pissed off about. Gordon Ramsay being a little bit twisted and sick when it comes to animals. Let's watch. Creeping up like a weirdo. Mm. Yum, 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 Which one's going in the oven first? You. Mmm. Oh, get away from him, you creep. Time. You know, <clears throat> this would be funny, actually, if we didn't live in a world where billions of animals are slaughtered, have their heads cut off. And this would be funny if he actually wasn't really going to put them in the oven. Like, let's just say, uh, you know, you're, you're at home, you're mucking around with your kids and going, oh, I'm gonna eat you, I'm a monster. Harmless. You're not actually going to eat the kids. But Gordon Ramsay is actually going to send these lambs to get their head cut off and to be put in the oven. That's why it's so sick and twisted. Let's watch that again. Look at him, all creepy. I'm going to eat you. Mate, if you wanted to start a horror movie, this is how you would start it. Like some creepy dude walking up to some little young... Imagine if these were like kids. You ever heard that story Hansel and Gretel? You know, with the weird witch, the evil witch. He wants to put them in the oven and cook them and eat them. This is exactly what this is like. Gordon, you were the witch. You were the bad man in the fairy tale to these beautiful, innocent lambs. Gordon Ramsay's kicked up a storm though with this by a bunch of meat eaters actually okay i'm not a vegan or vegetarian but that crosses the line gordon they're so cute though gordon i think you need a break from tiktok gordon don't they're not old enough jojo the artist they're not old enough do you know how old lambs are when they're slaughtered so this is from the rspca in the uk most lambs and sheep are slaughtered at between 10 weeks and six months old though some may be 14 months old they're outliers. It's mostly between 10 weeks and six months old. And have you not heard of suckling lamb? How old is a suckling lamb? Suckling lamb is basically milk fed lamb. And yes, milk fed lamb is eaten 30 to 45 days old. Gordon, don't, they're not old enough. The lambs that you're eating are between 10 weeks and six months old. And if you're eating suckling lamb, 30 days old, a month old, little babies. Absolutely sick. So there is a Unilad article about this and it says, Gordon Ramsay sparks outrage after selecting lamb to slaughter in new video. Look at him, look at Gordon. Oh God, that is creepy, mate. Stay away from young animals, dude. That is, that's not good. The video has been viewed more than 6.8 million times and many of his fans found it amusing. However, there were plenty of people who were unimpressed by what they saw. Commenting on the video, one person said, okay, I'm not a vegan or vegetarian, but that crosses the line. Well, if you're not a vegan, don't you think you cross the line three times a day when you pay for horrible things to happen to animals in slaughterhouses? Don't you think about that? Don't you think like, although what Gordon did is highly sadistic and horror movie level stuff, what do you think slaughter workers are doing to animals? The slaughter workers that you pay their salaries, what do you think they're doing to the animals? Do you think they're tormenting them? Do you think they're abusing them? Making fun of them? Holding their body parts in the air? Holding their heads? Messing around with their dead body parts? What do you think generally happens inside slaughterhouses? Do you think animals go in there, get belly scratches, and then they go to a magical little dungeon where they fall asleep gently, and then they, they just go to the dream world, they just go to far away place, and you know, there's no terror, there's no fear, there's no violence, there's no blood, no brutality, there's no sick, twisted slaughterhouse workers tormenting and abusing them, torturing them. You don't think this happens? Well, if you don't think this happens, maybe you need to watch the movie Dominion and see what the hidden cameras find when activists leave them there without the slaughterhouse workers knowing. Then you see the truth. Right, what Gordon did here is very mild compared to what happens in slaughterhouses all across the UK and all across the world. So basically, if you're not a vegan, you're paying for way worse things than Gordon did right here. So it's time to go vegan. Another agreed, I'm closer to being vegetarian than ever before. So wow, Gordon's doing his little piece for animal advocacy here because he publicized something so sadistic. People are starting to understand how sickening it is to kill little baby lambs to eat them. And it's not just lambs. Think about the little chickens. They're six weeks old when they're eaten. You're really literally eating baby animals. So if we try to analyze the psychology of what's going on here with Gordon, it could be something like this. Men, particularly, when they feel some type of emotion about something, 
they tend to poke humor at it instead of addressing that emotion. So Gordon might feel a little sad about these cute little lambs going to the slaughterhouse, but he does want to eat them. So he has cognitive dissonance. His feelings and his actions do not match. So he makes a little joke about it. You know, I'm going to eat you, ha ha ha. But that might actually be a bit of a hard feeling for him to address. So he's just making a bit of a dad joke here. But it turns out it made him look like a sadistic horror story, Freddy Krueger, creepazoid, animal abuser. Gordon Ramsay hasn't been any stranger to making fun of vegans and veganism and animals and animal rights. I remember a video once him eating a burger to mock that vegan teacher, like literally eating the dead body of an animal who died in a slaughterhouse in a horrific way to mock a vegan. Like that's the type of humor he does. Like this should come as no surprise. Gordon is not going to go vegan unless he has some crazy life-changing experience and starts to analyze his hypocrisy and really starts to value these animals as individuals, he will not go vegan. So stop with the Gordon Ramsay's going vegan stuff, which I see all the time. He might say, yeah, I like vegan food, but you still like eating the bodies of dead lambs, don't you? And here's more evidence that Gordon Ramsay ain't ever gonna care about animals. Gordon Ramsay knows exactly what he wants at his last meal before he dies. What is it? The famous sweary chef insists that his full English breakfast is so good, it's the final thing he wants to devour when the time comes. So a full English breakfast is basically different types of pig body minced up, cut up on a plate. Pigs are killed in gas chambers. Predominantly, gas chambers are used in the UK, throughout Europe, and in America and Australia, that we're talking about the vast majority in all of those countries. Horrible, horrible way to die. Extreme suffering for the animals, extreme terror. And this is what Gordon wants for his last meal. Animal suffering. So to his very death, on his deathbed, Gordon plans to eat the abused bodies of innocent animals. So that should tell you what you need to know about Gordon. Now, let's go to this Unilad post because I wanna keep going on this. I love doing the comments responses. Stay for the comments. Let's get down to business. Tina Everett, she looks like she's winning the ultimate meat-eating Karen award. She says, people need to grow up. We're not all plant eaters. Farmers have done this for centuries. Some get excited. No, they are getting a great product. Get a life. Turn off your TVs and social media if you don't want to see real life. That's interesting, Tina, because every time we show the reality of slaughterhouses to meat eaters, they have a massive cry. And I'm pretty sure you would have a massive cry too if we shared the reality of what goes on on farms and in slaughterhouses to you. So it's really meat eaters who don't wanna see the truth. And also they don't wanna address the implications of seeing the truth because it means they have to change. Farmers have done this for centuries. Well, why would we care about what has happened for centuries? Don't you know some of the most horrible things in history happened for centuries? Why would we care? Are you saying we should continue to do horrible things to animals because they've happened for centuries? Come on, Tina. But what do we expect, really? 1.6 thousand likes. It's never underestimate the stupidity of most people. One, but This is the top comment, 1.6 thousand likes. Everyone agrees. No, just a bunch of simpletons agree with this. So Margaret says in response to Tina, yes, lambs are being slaughtered all the time, but I doubt very much that a farmer would jump into a sheep pen laughing and joking like Ramsay for the camera. Actually, Margaret, that just goes to show how much you know about farmers. They make fun of abusing animals all the time. They literally rape cows. Farmers nonce around with animals all day. They stick their fist in their anus. They grab their penis and masturbate semen out of them. They're always noncing around with animals. And you think that they wouldn't jump into a sheep pen laughing and joking. They literally always do weird, crappy humor while they're abusing and torturing animals. This happens all the time. You've obviously never seen images from inside slaughterhouses and what happens when people are around slaughter all day. They start messing around with body parts. It happens all the time. So yeah, you, you just really don't know how much disrespect happens to these animals, and why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they disrespect the animals? The animals are viewed as bags of potatoes, products, resources. You view the animals as products and resources. You don't view the animals like they have any value. Otherwise, you wouldn't stick their dead bodies down your throat. You wouldn't chew up their body parts after they'd been murdered if you thought the animals had any value whatsoever. Jordan says, I'm sorry, what's he supposed to look like? He literally cooks animal byproducts for a living. He is really famous for it. Just cause he happy doesn't mean he doesn't respect the animal. <laughs> Also, lamb chop slap. So I don't know, I'm from Texas. It could be that too. Lamb chop slap. I, I don't even know what he means by that. Just cause he's happy doesn't mean he doesn't respect the animal. Mate, Jordan, 
You're saying that that's respect to animals? Jumping in there going, I'm going to eat you, and then sending them to a slaughterhouse to have their head cut off? Mate, That you've got a very bizarre outlook on what respect looks like. 200 likes. Wow. People loving Jordan's comment here. Loving it. Lamb chop slap, mate. Cut up little baby lamb slap. Great. Uh, let's go. Top fan, Jennifer Anderson. I won't judge him on a personal level. After all, I eat meat. Exactly. You can't judge him if you eat meat, Jennifer. You can't. However... This is why I do not eat veal or lamb. Veal calves have it even worse. Force fed and made to stand in tiny little huts in their own excrement until they are slaughtered. One can be a meat eater and still advocate for the ethical treatment of food animals. To me, part of that ethical treatment is allowing them to live a life before we take it to sustain our own. So yep, no veal or lamb for me. Well, Jennifer, you're a massive hypocrite. Just because you eat veal or lamb doesn't mean you've got some moral high ground, so don't even try to project that, and you cannot eat meat and advocate for the ethical treatment of food animals, because they're not food animals, they're animals that are being exploited and abused for food. Just the way you speak about them shows me that you have no respect for them whatsoever. So you're saying you can still advocate for ethical treatment of animals while you're paying for them to have their head cut off and eating them? Can I advocate for the respect of humans while I send them to a slaughterhouse, cut their heads off and eat their bodies? Well, I don't eat baby humans. I only eat teenage humans. I only eat six month old pigs and one year old cows. And you don't eat veal or lamb, but you eat all other animals? Do you eat chickens? You obviously eat chickens and they're six weeks old when they're murdered. Come on, Jennifer, this is riddled with hypocrisy. Why can't you see this? This has got 188 likes and people cannot see the hypocrisy in this. One can be a meat eater and still advocate for the ethical treatment of food animals. Oh really? One can be a child abuser and still advocate for the rights of children. One can be a slaver and still advocate for the rights of slaves. One can be a woman basher and still advocate for the rights of women. Can you listen to yourself, Jennifer? Like, sorry, like, I'm gonna be cynical and I'm gonna be condescending because this is just absolutely ridiculous. People with this hypocritical worldview, like, do you have any self-awareness? Like, when I went vegan, I was like, I'm a hypocrite, you know? I should change. That was my attitude, not like, let's ethically shoot an animal in the head. I just don't get it. Like, I was a gang member, uneducated, I got sober, and even I could work out that it's wrong to shoot an animal in the head and eat their body. I didn't go, oh, I just won't eat veal or lamb. I was like, well, maybe I should be consistent. Anyways, if an ex-gang member can work this out, and I used to be violent to people, what does that say about most of society? <laughs> if I can work this out, like, that, that that's an indictment on most people. Beatrice, you are onto it. This is exactly how I used to think. Double standard. Apart from vegetarians, the rest of us can't really judge him. Well, I would actually say you're close, but it's apart from vegans. Because vegetarians still fund the industries that kill calves and cows and hens for their eggs, macerate male chicks. So apart from vegans, the rest of us can't really judge him. So you should go vegan, Beatrice, if you're watching this. I'm gonna finish on Susan Barr's comment. This one here is just as sadistic as Jordan, in my opinion. He should bow down and express gratitude for the ultimate sacrifice so he can eat. Who are you expressing gratitude to? The lambs didn't give you anything, you took it. Express gratitude, thank you so much for something that you stole, their life, their bodies, bow down and express gratitude for killing them against their will. You're sacrificing someone else. You're not sacrificing anything from yourself. It's murder. It's literally murder. You're gonna express gratitude for murdering someone? Imagine that, imagine that. I'm gonna have to murder you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to kill you, thank you. Let me bow down. I'm going to kill you and eat you. I know you're a human being. I like to eat humans. I need to eat so I can eat. I'm going to express gratitude to you for making the ultimate sacrifice for me against your will. Bow down just so I can eat. Oh, here, this is the victim. This is the victim. But why don't you just eat something else? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Pipe down. I've expressed my gratitude. It's time for me to murder you. Susan, that is a twisted worldview. The animals are not consenting parties in this weird gratitude fueled murderous sacrifice. Sounds pretty damn demonic to me. So there you go, that's Gordon Ramsay. Pokes fun at murdering little lambs. Everyone else who's criticizing him for this behavior who is not vegan, massive hypocrites. Wake up, that's how I changed. I was like, you know what? I'm a hypocrite. I admitted it. Humble yourself. Just humble yourself and start analyzing your hypocrisy and going, wow, I'm actually against killing and eating small infant animals. I'm gonna go vegan too. Gordon Ramsay, don't have much hope for him. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.